rename. The data area passed to a system call is too small is an error that may occur when you open items with long names. For your information, File Explorer can only open files and folders if the numbers of characters in their names stay within the character limit. Because of that, you should consider renaming the items then see how things turn out. For good measure, keep the number of characters well below 255 characters. Microsoft Management Console Step 1. Press Windows plus R to open Run, type MMC and hit OK. Step 2. In Microsoft Management Console, select Website Properties and choose Home Directory. Step 3. Hit Configuration in the Application Settings. Next, check the checkbox nest to cache Izapi applications. Close everything and restart. Install Hotfix for SQL Server. Step 1. Download and install the Hotfix. Step 2. Restart your PC. Step 3. Determine whether the error persists. Disable file stream. Step 1. Go to search bar, type computer management, and press enter. Step 2. Navigate to SQL Server Configuration Manager, then open SQL Server Properties. Step 3. In File Stream tab, disable File Stream. Step 4. Restart your computer. Note, if you disable File Stream, databases with the File Stream file group cannot be brought online. In the case that you have other applications that use SQL Server, there is one thing you should do. Move File Stream data to another driver. For example, if you have Drive D, consider moving the data there to be able to continue using File Stream. After you finish, proceed to restart your computer. Uninstall and reinstall apps. Step 1. Go to search bar, type control panel and press enter. Step 2. Select programs, then choose programs and features. Step 3. A list of all your programs will appear. Proceed to scan the list, pick iTunes, and hit Uninstall. Repeat the process to uninstall Dell Support Assist. Step 4. Restart your PC. As the screen comes back on, you could reinstall the apps. Step 1. Download the apps. Right-click the setup file and hit Properties. Step 2. Go to Compatibility tab. Check the checkbox next to Run this program as an administrator. Wait until the process completes. Step 3. Restart your PC.